Hello my gorgeous loved ones and beautiful people. I thought what I'd do is a special Valentine's Day reading and but I'm going to do it in element signs. So this one is for the element of Earth. So that's Taurus Virgo Capricorn. I'm using the Journey of Love Oracle um, and the Art of Love Tarot. So they're beautiful. If you look here, the, um, the pictures are absolutely magnificent. So let's get started. I hope you're having a beautiful day and I hope wherever you are and whoever you're with, um, you, you don't let the word or the words of Valentine's Day affect you um, more negatively than anything else. I think we'll get three today. So we'll have that one for one party. Looks like that's the feminine. And that's an energy, not a a person if they want to flip out again they will so we'll have one for the other person in the relationship please they're not counting very well today can we have one for the other person in the relationship please my loves Valentine's Day has so many different meanings to so many different people and um, I think there's a lot of people out there who feel not quite as good or whole or um, worthy or enough if they don't have a partner on Valentine's Day. Um, a lot of people out there are celebrating. Come on. One, thank you. Contemplation, the other party in this is a contemplating. That's clear as bell. Okay, I love this. So far, we've got She Loves, Drop Into Your Heart, which is the state of the relationship in contemplation. with me one of you is um now you saw how much I shuffled didn't you so these were all sixes these were all 61 68 69 and um So I think this is more for the, the advice for this person who's a bit unsure. I think one of you is a bit unsure. So let's see where we're going with this because I'd like some clarity. Now, I don't usually read reversals. I'll just keep going. Now, 
Now this King of Hearts could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces or Scorpio, but I think, I think this, he, I'm going to use the male and the feminine, the masculine and the feminine because it's easier, but fit them in where you are. I think at the moment he's not fully in his element. But he's thinking about it and trying to make some progress. And this can this can challenge both of you from being in heart center. What's the main issue? The Ace of Pentacles or the Ace of Trees. Fresh start um, in a nice grounded energy. My back is seriously hurting. So someone... Oof, does someone feel like they've been stabbed in the back and they want a fresh start? What's going on over here? Let's have a look at this. What's going on over here? one fell down that's pretty clear two of hearts is union of lovers so when I asked what was going on we've got the two of hearts that came out and on top of that and it fell on the floor is a three of angels which is the three of swords so and that's clarification so I'd say what's happened here, over here, and this is why the sudden back pain is this. I still think the directions are opposite. This person loves, because if you look at the illustration, the... the the feminine in these cards almost has a very similar pose, similar expression. And I think she's looking at the love they had, but feeling this broken heart. Um, it doesn't have to be a Cancer, Pisces or Scorpio, but that's the energy. It's a very watery sign, very deep. Um, doesn't always show their feelings, but they're definitely not in their healthy element at the moment they're not being they're not healing they're not um being open and honest about their feelings and they're covering a lot up and i think this could be part of that they may be in shame because they're contemplating everything let's keep going something over here what's going on over here what's the contemplation and the progress what progress are they making what are they trying to make they're very stuck they're doing a lot of contemplation and not much progress trying to use their intuition to guide them maybe they're trying to learn how to open up to their intuition better I'm going to keep going maybe I think they see you as the high priestess I think that's this is how you're going, this is what you're going through with them. And this is how they are seeing you. They see you as the high priestess. They see you as very in touch with yourself, in touch with your heart center, um, in touch with your intuition, very capable of being heart centered and um, sure. 
There's a few. Yeah, this is how they see you. This is the Queen of Pentacles. And she's, you know, the nurturer. So you've got the, the High Priestess um, and the Queen of Pentacles. And they see you as making real progress on your path. Um, they really need to do this. They need to withdraw and they need to find someone who is separate from the situation, um, not involved at all, but who has wisdom and information um, experience in how to gain clarity around this and the direction to go. Um, this is obviously what they're now thinking about. What direction do I go now? You might have chosen to move into a fresh start because of this. But the advice is for both of you to come into your heart space and and see things from that centre. I think the feminine is, is much more capable or open to that. Um, their mind is more open to that. You, uh, The king of hearts might not have had that experience, might never have been told or taught. And with this three of, heart, three of angels, three of swords, I think with this contemplation, they know. They know that you've been very hurt, but they don't know how to undo that or change that. So the advice here is to um, take some time out and seek, seek advice from someone who's not emotionally connected or involved and, and separated from all of that. I hope this makes sense and I hope it helps. I might just ask what the possible outcome is. Let's just see if there's a possible outcome for this. What's the possible outcome for this situation? What's the possible outcome for this situation? Thank you. Beautiful. We've got the two of angels, which is a nice balance, and and the acceptance card, which is harmony. It's in in the standard rider right weight. This is the um, temperance card. Thank you. Um, so I think with the two balance cards, temperance is is a very balanced. It's all. Um, even keel, patience and, and nurturing and understanding. It's a very balanced. And then you've got the, the two of angels, the balance card there. So I think if this, if, if this person, if this person on this side can open themselves up to think about things a different way and seek help and, 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 and advice from someone with experience, but someone who's objective, and they, you, they both, you both drop into your heart center and see the whole situation from a heart perspective. Then this is the outcome, which is beautiful. It's, you know, if if that's not a beautiful sign, I I don't know what is. It's passion and love and very centered. And I love this, the acceptance. This is the acceptance of each other as you are. All right, my loves, I hope this helps. I hope wherever you are, you have a lovely day. I love you all and hugs. And as always, a great big kiss. Bye.